right there, it's still going to recall the exponential equation. Before we start this function, uh, we've got what we call the exponential equation. Exponential equation. Let's say you are being given two exponent x is equal to 16. 2 exponent x is equal to 16. This is an exponential equation because what we have to solve is an exponent. What we have to solve is an exponent. Therefore, we call this an exponential equation. So in order for us to be able to solve for x there, we make the basis to be the same. It's 2 exponent x equals 2 exponent 4. So once the bases are the same, we equate the exponents. Once the bases are the same, we equate the exponents. It means uh, our x here will be equal to 4. So that's an exponential equation. We are solving where x is an exponent, right? And then, so the most important thing here is just to change the bases to be the same and then we equate the exponents. So there are some other cases where you will find out that you are unable to make the bases to be the same. For instance, 5 exponent x is equal to, let's say, 20. So we can't make the bases to be the same in this case. Therefore, it's where we are going to apply another topic that we call it logarithms. Logarithms. The laws. Right? We've got the laws of exponents. We did them from grade nine. And then also, we have laws of the logs. For instance, if you have a exponent x is equal to b and you want to solve x here. In terms of logs, you apply log on both sides, log on both sides. Remember, this is a base, a is the base, it's a base, this is an exponent exponent. So that's represent a number. Therefore, if you are to solve for x, we have a exponent x equals b, right? To solve for x, x must be moved from being an exponent so that you will be able to solve. How to move it? To apply or you introduce log on both sides. This will be log. It's log a exponent x. Again here, it's log b. After this, you take that exponent, you multiply it to whatever coefficient is there. So here we've got one. So it's x times one. This now will be x log a is equal to log b. We are to solve for x, we divide then. We divide by log a. We divide by log a. Therefore, our x, therefore, our x will be equal to log b over log a log b over log a over log a right back again here we've got two exponent x we've got 16 16 is exponent one always if you are writing a number just like this K, any number is exponent 1 because the exponent tells us 
how many times this number is appearing. So this is k exponent 1. Right. Therefore, same thing for the logs. If you've got log a there, down there, there is what we call the base. Let's put b. So this is the log number. It's a log number here. And that's a base. A base. Exponent, base. And then here, the base is down there. So when you have something like that, just log A. If it's log A, always we've got the base which is equal to 10. Same as when you have the exponent. 2. Always we have the exponent which is 1 up there. Same thing for the logs. Once you write log, if there is no base there, the base will be 10. For instance, log 10. So if you have log 10, the base here is 10. Log 10, base 10. You can write this as, this is the same as log 10 over log 10. We are just splitting this. This is the same as log 10 over log 10. So if you are to write this like that, you just shift that 10 and put it as a base up there. So log 10 divided by log 10, the answer will be equal to 1. In other words, log 10, log 10 is equal to 1. Right. Let's go back to this one here. We are saying if you have something like that, this is the same as you can shift that A to be the base. Therefore, this is the same as log B base A. That's the same as that. You just shift that A to be the base. So it's log B base A. Right. Now let's say you have a log 100. Remember, this is log 100, which means there is a base there which is 10. Therefore, this will be the same as log 10. 100 is 10 squared over that base log 10 over log 10, right. It's two times the coefficient there. That will be two log 10 over log 10. So log 10 divided by log 10, the answer would be two then. In other words, log 100 is equal to two. Even log uh, 1000, log 1000 log 1000. This is the same as log 10 exponent 3. Obviously, the base is 10 there. This will be 3 log 10. Remember that log 10 is 1, therefore 3 times 1 is 3. Which means log 1000 is the same as 3, or is equal to 3. Right. Going back again 